Graphene OS. The most based operating system always putting in work. This is why I love Graphene OS. Because they are forward thinkers. They are innovators. They are always thinking of security at the highest level. Especially when it comes to a, a mobile operating systems that are constantly at our fingertips. I think that a lot of people that pick the obscured um, alternative operating systems and try to do all these wacky, uh, wacky solutions when we should just look for stuff that just works. Now, I understand when you're handing money to a Pixel, buying a Pixel, you're handing money to Google. I get it. Fucking whatever. If you're going to be upset about minuscule stuff like this, you might as well just never leave your house and not install a phone. But that's unreal. Like, get a phone and install, like, anything. You essentially should make the conscious decision to pick what's obviously the best option for you, but I think the most reasonably secure and powerhouse in the Android ecosystem is going to be Graphene OS. Otherwise, you might as well just get an info. These iPhone and just don't install an, an account. Same thing with you might as well just buy a Pixel and don't get an account. And just fucking use it as a dumb phone. If you want a dumb phone and you want an option, that's your option. Now, Graphene OS's highest threat model and update is targeted towards it. Target kind of somewhat targeted towards its highest threat model. We're gonna. This is gonna be very somewhat unedited. There's not gonna be a lot of. I mean, there's gonna be pretty much no edits at all because I, I I don't like editing. So Graphene OS is two-factor fingerprint unlock features now fully uh, implement, implemented and will be available in the upcoming, upcoming Graphene OS release, which is now. This adds the option to set a pin for using fingerprint unlock. You can use a strong diceware passphrase as the primary unlock method with fingerprint plus pin as secondary unlock. The usual restrictions on fingerprint unlock still apply. It's a secondary unlock mechanism that's only usable for 48 hours after the first primary unlock. The limit on failed fingerprint unlock attempts in Graphene OS 5 is uh, is 5 as opposed to allowing 4 batches of 5 attempts, 20 total, with 30 second delays in between. The devices we support have a high qual uh, quality secure element heavily through th uh, throttling unlock attempts, which is why random 6 digit pin provides se secure encryption. Unlike most Android devices, it is nicer to have a strong uh, passphrase, not depending on an attacker being able to exploit the secure element. Our new two-factor fingerprint unlock feature means you can get the benefits of a strong passphrase while still having the convenience of a pin. Since our pin scrambling feature works with the second factor pin, you get the combination of anti-shoulder surfing benefits of a scrambling pin and fingerprint if you want to avoid entering your passphrase in public. You just need to make sure that the, to refresh the 48-hour timer after using last using it to unlock to keep a fingerprint unlock available. We plan to add a configuration for how many failed finger unlock attempts are allowed to help with this use case. We came up with the concept in uh, two-factor fingerprint in 2015 and filed it in the public issue tracker of 2016. It was extremely difficult to implicate. Correctly, we need to fix multiple upstream Android bugs. The lock screen will be most robust even if you don't use this. This is how the flagship feature graphing alongside hardened Malik hardware memory tagging, hardware level disabling of USB C port, storage scope, contact scope, sandbox, Google Play layer. It will also be hardened to the harder to port to newer versions than using our harder to it will be harder to port to newer versions than our existing features. Our Duress pin still works. Duress pin, whatever. If you care about security and your highest threat model exists in public, you should use Graphene OS. It's not a question. It's not, this is the quote unquote best operation system, operating system for everyone. That would be retarded. That's not the point. The point is we get a dedicated team to thinking of security in mind. Now, do I think that Graphene OS is for everyone? Yeah, personally, but 
Is it for everyone? Probably not. But if your highest attempt of security needs to be met, Graphene OS is there. All you have to do is put a passphrase in, then fingerprint, then pin plus dura. I think pin plus duress pin plus scramble is your best option. Obviously make the two pins separate enough where scrambling pin isn't you know, you make an oopsie because when you put the Duras pin in, it literally wipes the phone. It, it keeps Graphene OS installed, but the phone is wiped inevitably, irreversibly, and it is gone. Now, some of the best points about Graphene OS is that it allows you to have the control. Storage scope, contact scope, sandbox, Google Play. The compatibility layer com, uh, compatibility layer I would suggest if you have the highest threat model that's reasonable this is one of the best options that they have come out with now you have to set it up you have to I would pick up a, uh, a decent passphrase that you're gonna remember a random six digit pin with fingerprint and then a quick and efficient Duras pin. Disable USB C port besides charging. It's what I do when it's before unlock mode. After unlock mode, that's just a whole thing that you have to kind of like go down. Like understanding like before unlock mode and after unlock mode. But that's essentially what you're hearing is is what you're getting. Not only this is one of the most sought after features, this is a feature that people might need and or use. Say you're in public and you're going to, someone see, shoulder surfs your, your, uh, your pin, they think, though you have scrambled turned on, they grab your phone, they run, they put in your pin, it's wrong. Maybe put in a pin that they think they're gonna guess for the Duras pin. The duress pin should be easy, so maybe somebody accidentally <laughs> puts it in and just wipes the phone, and then they don't get your uh, your uh, sexy information. I think this is a really good feature. I believe going forward, Graphene OS is going to implicate better features, just like Storage Scope, Contact Scope, and Sandbox, Google Play compatibility later, and this feature alone. And if you learned anything from this, uh, you know, hit the hit the dislike button and don't subscribe. Good night. And don't forget to argue in the comments for the algorithm.